2020 has been a rough year and a lot of rappers, a lot of entertainers and such, they need to find a way to get their money up because they're spending a lot of money on chains, drugs, and hoes. Whew. The essential stuff. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. If this is your first time on He Rants, I just want to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me. And I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll be one of the first people to hear the voice of Long Trousers. At the same time, hit a like, man, because I'm so insecure and it definitely makes me feel like I'm doing a stand-up job right and also only takes a second man so hit that like button son just please i appreciate it man it legit takes one second son to hit the like button all right same time you gotta buy the merch mofo men offering females orgasms because we're so humble link in the description box below but let's not waste no more time let's get to the first story we gotta talk about emma espero i think her last name is espero right aka el chapo's wife man um the reason why we're talking about her is because of some stuff that i've talked about in the past before about her Oh, well, about women in general, right? Remember when I said women are snitches? Can you guess what Emma is planning on doing? For those of you guys who don't know, man, uh, Emma, man, she was out here in Virginia, right? She got caught in Dallas Airport with a whole bunch of heroin, cocaine, you know, the good stuff, the mean drugs, the heavy drugs, the party drugs, the fun drugs. You know what I'm saying? Not that I ever partake in any of these drugs, but I've heard stories and I believe that people who are telling me these stories, right? So... She got caught up with a whole bunch of that, the stuff, the good stuff, like I said before. And she's looking at spending some time because she's trying to clearly still do some work for the Sonola cartel, which is, I think, I think El Chapo, the big guy El Chapo is the leader of and everything, right? So, you know, a lot of people saw her going in and it felt like, you know what, she's probably not going to snitch. You know, she's been a ride or die. She's been strong for the man El Chapo and the Sonola cartel. <laughs> but you guys are mistaken. You guys are heavily mistaken, right? Because once they came up there and went to the interrogation room and hit her with that 40 years, yes, 40 years. She was looking at 40 years in federal prison. People don't know, a regular prison, right? You know, state prison and such like that. Most of the time, you might just do about 50 years. So they charge you with 25 years or something like that. I'm like, oh, you're going to get 25. You're not really going to do 25. You might do 15. You might do 12, depending on good behavior and all that stuff, right? Federal prison, you're doing about 85, 90% of your time. So if they say 25, you're probably going to do 24. You know what I'm saying? So when they say 40 years, keep in mind, this woman, I think she's in her late 30s or, or, or early early or late. I think she's in her 30s or something or early 40s. She don't look that old, bro. But you're talking about 40 years. She's going to come out 80. She's going to come out looking like Biden, son. So she saw that, she realized, oh, no, no, not for this, no, 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 not for the Sonoma Cartel, not, not, not for her chapel, right? Like I said, uh, people always talk about, like, you know, snitches get stitches and all that stuff, and this definitely is going to fall under this, right? De definitely, this is definitely a perfect example of snitches get stitches, because, oh, my God, they are going to clap her. But, you know, they got her in the witness protection program, man. So right now they're saying that she looks like she's going to cooperate. She's going to spill the beans and destroy the whole Sonola cartel. And then they're going to put her and her twin daughters, um, also the children of El Chapo, I'm assuming at least, right? Unless she was cheating. Wouldn't be surprised she was, right? She's going to betray him. She probably betrayed him before. Who knows, right? But like I said, you can't expect women to keep secrets, bro. That's why sometimes I get mad when I see gang members kill like a woman and stuff. I'm like, why did you kill that woman? But then I realize, I'm like, listen, man, I granted it is a woman and I would not want to kill her. You don't want when a woman on a ship is sinking women and children first. You try to say women and children off limits and stuff, right? But when you see women, women snitch. Oh, God. Like I said, if you're cheating on your wife and everything, right, you might start smashing this, you know, the side girl. After a while, she might catch feelings and decide, listen, I want you to break up with your wife. If you don't tell your wife, I'm going to start sending mysterious text messages and stuff like that. Start sending random nudes. Start popping up at your job. Just find subtle ways to snitch on you, right? And this is no different, right? She got cut up. She saw the 40 years. And I'll be, I'll keep it as that with you. I would have snitched you. I'm like, what? 40 years? 40 years, bro? And see, she's going to women prison, right? So she's probably not going to worry about getting, what, what are they going to do? Come over uh, with a detachable strap on? They do, can you get a strap on in commissary in, in, in the freaking women prison and stuff so she can get raped? No, but me as a man, I'm going in there. My butt is getting torn to shreds, all right? Smithereens, all right? Smashed galore. 
And I'm not trying to go for that. I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, oh, you're not gonna fight back. I'm gonna fight back, son, but they have numbers. They have friends. They've been there a while. They probably built a unit and everything, right? Just a unit of the butt takers. They probably see the, oh, yeah, that guy's butt look pretty fat. I'm gonna go and tear that thing up. And they're probably gonna look at me. I'm snitching. We gotta talk about Danny Lee again, man. She's still under fire off of that Yellow Bone song, right? And like I said before, that song was ass. Everybody knows it was ass, it was booty. Um, I feel like people should be more upset at how bad the song was and everything, right? Everybody's coming out saying, listen, she's not really black. She's been saying nigga a lot. She's been being a part of her culture, but she's not really black. She's Afro-Latina, which to me is still black. But I mean, hey, there's some Afro-Latina people that look at that and be like, listen, we're not black, we're Afro-Latina. It's a whole different thing. I guess, man. So apparently she deleted some old tweets saying that she was like 39% West African and everything, right? Pretty much trying to bring the strength out of how black she is, right? I'm like, listen, West African, that's as black as it gets, right? You know what I'm saying? So I'm 39%, 40%. I think she rounded it up and stuff, right? Yeah. So, you know, people went to school. People went to school. I, I appreciate that, right? Um, but apparently that was false. Apparently she is 17% West African, which is less than 20%. For those of you guys who are not good with numbers, less than 20%, meaning less than one fifth percent, uh, less than one fifth. See, I was, um, just because I made that comment about the number stuff, I'm messing up now. Less than one fifth black, right? Fully black, that is, right? Even though I feel like the majority of people are somewhat black in some type of way, in shape or form, and stuff like that. Well, so people have been backlashing her, I mean, uh, attacking her all through Twitter and stuff like that. Because, you know, that's all people have time to do attack her and stuff, right? And listen. I keep the same energy for everybody. Feel free to attack her, right? Feel free to attack her, man. I'm it's all for it. cyberbullying. I love it. I love that cyberbullying stuff, man. It's it's entertaining. As long as it's not me. Well, then, if it is me, though, I feel like, hey, listen, if, to each their own, right? Have fun. If you find a reason to insult me and make fun of me, hey, I'm all here. As long as it's funny. If it's not funny, I'm like, well, what's, going, what's going on? What are you doing? You're wasting your time. You're just being hurtful at that point, right? But if you guys are coming at Danny Lay, man, hey, rightfully so. She's the one who went out cocky, made a Yellow Bone song, which I still don't really care. I really don't care because they made a, oh, he loves chocolate and stuff like that. I don't think I would. I don't, I don't think I'd care for a dark skin girl making a song like, oh, dark skin, she loves cher dark cherries or something like that. I don't know. Dark, dark cherries? We got to talk about the guy, the game, man. You guys know about the game. G, you didn't know, know the whole situation. Him and 50 Cent been beefing for quite some time now and everything, right? But we're not here to talk about 50 Cent's beef with, with the game. We're, we're here to talk about how the game has apparently been scamming rappers as of recently, right? And this is not a new thing. Uh, I'm not sure for the game, but just in general, man. I mean, 2020 has been a rough year and a lot of rappers, a lot of entertainers and such, they need to find a way to get their money out because they're spending a lot of money on chains, drugs, and hoes. Whew the essential stuff so what the game was actually going on doing right the way he was pulling his finesse off was pretty much dm dming rappers right up and coming rappers or just guys who are really 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 low-key rappers right and message them saying like listen man I, I seen some of your work i like your work i like what it sounds like and everything and i want to work with you right and then he's telling them their feature price his feature prices right and he's charging them about thousand a uh, thousand dollars or a little bit over a thousand dollars right sometimes depending on what he wants to do i'm assuming and um you know they see this as a steal most rappers be like wow the game the game wants me to you know wants to be on my song and everything and all he wants is a thousand or a little bit over a thousand and stuff right so they see this as a big come up this is a this is a this is an easy steal, right? So they get excited. They do the whole thing, blase, blase. Time goes on, right? And then, you know, most of the time when you do a feature, they're supposed to post it on their social media just to promote the, the song just a little bit, you know, especially that comes with the money and everything, right? But that's not exactly what this guy, the game, did. He did post, but he didn't post on his actual, like, special verified SoundCloud. What he actually did was actually have a second SoundCloud that had, like, 256 followers and he was posting the songs there and oh my god i love the finesse what's that thing if, if things sound too good to be true they usually are they usually are son you know what i'm saying like for example if somebody was to call up to call me up right now said megan good got her mouth ready and is ready for me to put my schlong in there so she can guzzle it down like she's coming from a basketball game and she needs to get hydrated by some gatorade right I would know that sounds too good to be true. It sounds too good. Am I still gonna fall for it and probably see if she is waiting? With a full boner, I will approach the situation just to probably get jumped and realize that 
Well, letting go was never there. I was just, hey, but I'll, I would still, I would still take the chance. I'll still take the chance, man, dude. That's Megan Good we're talking about here, and I would. I'm just a that with marmalade. So being that the, he only had about 256 followers on his SoundCloud, right? Or the, the, the unverified second account SoundCloud. It wasn't a lot of exposure these songs were getting, right? No, probably about 200, 200, 260, sometimes maybe 500 views. Not really getting, building a lot of traction, not a lot of stuff going on. Especially with having to feature by the game. So you just spent all this money. You feel like you're taking a big L, right? Well, it could have been a bigger L. Because like I said, a lot of these rappers, their feature prices are... Huh. Astronomical when you think about it, right? Because Little Dirk right now asking for like 200,000. I think, I think Little Baby's asking for like 200,000 also, right? So I definitely see why they saw the games was a steal. But the game doing this is just savage, though, at the same time. He probably see the rappers and see these rappers are ass and like, you know, I can't, I can't be out with these guys. These guys are gonna ruin, ruin my cred. Let me put them on a the second SoundCloud. Nobody's gonna hit it and I also get the money. But I respect them just off the strength that he still posted. He didn't have to post any of these. He could have just took the money and kept it moving. He has yet to respond to these allegations, right? Meaning that he probably did it. That's probably what it is, right? I know a lot of people will say, oh, he's just being quiet because he doesn't want to mess with the riffraff. He doesn't want to uh, listen to all the BS, all these lies being spread about him. No, he probably did it. He probably did it. And he probably like, who's going to stop him, right? <laughs> he's right. Who's going to stop him? You're going to pull up on the game? So are you going to pull? I'm not saying the game is like the super tough guy, but like no one's going to pull up on the game. So he's probably going to rappers that probably live in Idaho, Wisconsin or something like that. They're going to fly up and then fly. First, you're going to have to fly to L.A. Then you have to find where the game is and then you're going to wreck them, son. You already spent how much money on it and you're going to get your money back. That money's probably spent on on hoes, cars, hoes, drugs and hoes, bruh. I'm sorry, son. You got finessed. And you have to chalk this up as an L, son. But at least you know this. You still got the feature from the game, son. That's how it is, man. It's just a, it's just a circle of life, right? I know that doesn't make sense by me saying the circle of life, but it's a survival of the fittest. That's what it is. And those rappers are probably ass anyways. Let's keep it a stack. That's probably what? It's probably, it's probably booty, all right? But let's pray for them, dog. We'll, 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 we'll definitely go on and pray for them. But that's all the news I got for today, man. Um, Thank you. If you stayed this long, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Please subscribe to the boy, man. We're trying to grow. We're growing out here. We're trying to hit 5K, man. Hopefully, I hit 5K by the end of March. That'll be smooth. I'd appreciate that a lot, right? And um, please, man, like the video, man. It only takes one second. Let's hit that like button, man. Just really, really, if you made it this far, you might as well, you've been entertained enough. Like the video, man. At the same time, buy the merch. More folk, men offering females orgasm. Link in the description box below. And that's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.